If you're not sure and you just want a little bit of Disney magic coming to your door, maybe you live really far away from the parks or you can't get there yourself but you want some parks items to show up magically in your mailbox, I think the Happily Ever After box is like the perfect choice for that. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day 11 of Vlogmas. I cannot believe we are already on day 11. We are getting in there. Today I have a really fun Disney subscription box unboxing for you. I recently received this package in the mail and this is coming from my friends at Mickey's Mystery Box, which is really one of my favorite Disney subscription box companies out there. There are a lot of Disney subscription box companies out there right now, but I have been a fan of Mickey's Mystery Box for well over a year, for well before I started my YouTube channel. I think I maybe have known of these guys and subscribed to their various boxes for like two years now. So they've been around for a while. And this box that I have for you today is their Happily Ever After box. And the cool thing about this particular box is it costs $39.95, but you are guaranteed to receive double that value in retail value in your box. Now it's not a customizable box besides just I think your age and your gender. So everything that's in here is a total Total surprise but everything in here is a Disney Parks item and you are guaranteed to get a great bang for your bucks okay let's open this up fun priority mailbox and I'm seeing like a whole bunch of things in here lots of fun things in here so I'm looking to see if they sent me a note sometimes they do oh yeah here's a note Ooh, and it's on a really neat um, Wonderground Gallery postcard. It's actually written on the plastic, so um, the card is is free of ink. And it just says, Hi Becca, we hope you will enjoy the items in your November Happily Ever After box. Your subscribers can use the code BECCA10, that's B-E-C-K-A, BECCA with a C-K-10, um, to get 10% off your first box from your friends at Mickey's Mystery Box. Also, here is a close-up of the cute postcard. I love Alice and I love Wonderground Gallery stuff, so this will be an awesome addition to my cool postcard Disney art print collection, which is always growing. And now let's see what we have in here. The first thing I'm pulling out, oh, is a pin lanyard, like a booster set. And this is actually a 2018 lanyard. It's very cute. Let me show you um, a close-up of this. So Disney calls this their pin trading starter set. So it's usually a lanyard and then four pins. And you could keep some of them and trade some of them or trade them all or keep them all. But it's a great way to kind of get your start at pin trading in the parks. So this is the 2018 lanyard. It's got the 2018 logo, which I love that has that kind of hidden Mickey with the eight and the one. I flip and love that design. I think it's brilliant. And then it's got four actually quite nice quality pins. So you've got Donald, Goofy, Mickey, and Minnie. Now we are very close to the end of 2018, but I do know somebody who visited the parks in 2018 who would love to have some commemorative pins from his trip. It's a young person. So I'm actually gonna mail this to a friend of mine's son who I know is a big Disney fan. We bonded over Disney and I think he is going to flip out over these pins. If I was going to keep this for myself, what I'd probably do is keep the lanyard for holding my trading pins and I'd probably actually trade these in the parks because I'm not super big on dated pins myself. But it is a nice item and the retail price on this is $30 and um, since I'm Kind of in Christmas mode, I'm planning to gift this to someone who I know is going to be just tickled to death to have it. This next item I am seeing, I am really, really excited about um, because I was actually looking for this in the parks last time I was there, which was um, just a few weeks ago, and I couldn't find this anywhere, but this is for the interchangeable ears that they now sell in the park, so that you can buy like kind of a plain pair of ears. I think it's got like a cute polka dot sequence bow, but then there are all of these interchangeable bows for all different movies and attractions and characters, and you can kind of buy the bow separately and then trade them out on your ears, if that makes sense. But there is one bow that I really wanted that I just, for whatever reason, like forgot to buy buy it many trips ago and I've been looking for it and I, it's been kind of scarce. It is the Tiki Room bow. I am so excited about this. The Tiki Room is one of my favorite attractions. Oop, I'm seeing a little goodie that's tucked into my, my bow by accident. So take a look at this. It's a beautiful like 
peachy pink color. There's some bamboo at the top and some beautiful tropical flowers with little um, rhinestones. And then in the center, you've got three tiki birds on a branch and they have beautifully embellished tails. I love this. Tiki Room was one of my favorite, favorite classic Disney attractions. And I can never get enough Tiki Room stuff. And I honestly don't have very many Tiki Room wearables, but I will be wearing this as soon as spring comes around. Or my, I might even wear it this winter because I need a little bit of like summer goodness in my life. I think this is gorgeous. And then on the back, it's got this kind of clip on thing and this slides through onto your ears. Or you could also just clip this directly into your hair. Now I actually have no idea what these bows retail for. I'm gonna guess they retail for about, I don't know, I'm gonna say like $17. That's a guess. Um, but I think it's probably somewhere between 15 and 20 bucks. I'm gonna say 17 and kind of split the difference. But I will definitely be keeping this. Absolutely gonna wear this. Super pumped. I was looking for this, like truly. Real quick, this is the item that had kind of accidentally tucked itself into the packaging of my Tiki bow. And this is a bookmark from the Enchanted Tales with Belle attraction which I've actually only experienced once is that true maybe twice maybe once um, it's a great attraction but it's really meant for kids and if you're an adult you don't typically get to participate you get to kind of stand back and watch the kids participate and that always makes me jealous so I don't go on this attraction very often but when you exit they give you this beautiful bookmark it's very Beauty and the Beast themed it's got Belle she's reading a book and it says you'll always be a part of my favorite story and then it's got the Belle signature as a book lover and as a fan of Belle and as a fan of Beauty and the Beast, I'm really happy to have this. I can't remember if I ever had one from when I went on the attraction, but I don't know where it is now. So I'm gonna tuck this inside of a, a Disney book that I recently received, and I'm gonna use this as my bookmark this winter. So this is a fun little bonus add-on. It's not something that you buy. It's just something that you can only get in the parks. And speaking of bonus items that you can only get in the parks, I was digging around in there and there were actually tucked in two little Mickey Mouse stickers. They sometimes give these out in the parks as well. So I love that Mickey's Mystery Box does these little touches of things that like you might pick up in the parks if you're there but if you're not able to visit they still include them it's a really nice touch okay there are several more things in here let me get them all out the next thing I'm seeing I really like it is a magnet and it's an Epcot 35th anniversary magnet now we are past the 35th anniversary of Epcot but the merch that they came out with for the 35th anniversary was so cool and I have several Epcot 35 items I've got pins I've got a little hoodie I've got a handful of different things Things. and I've got a growing collection of cool Disney magnets on my file cabinet behind me so I'm actually really really excited to have this because I love kind of vintagey Epcot and everything for the 35th anniversary kind of has that vintage Epcot feel. Here's a close-up of the magnet it looks like it's going to be a very effective magnet it's a big magnet and um, the price tag just says red which I'm pretty sure is $9.99 so this would be a $10 item retail pretty sure that I'm right that that's the price. I'm kind of winging it I don't have my pricing chart with with me but I'm pretty sure this is about a $10, $10 item and I actually love this. The next item I am seeing is a keychain and this is another 2018 item so I don't love dated things like near the end of the year. I did love their logo for 2018 and I did visit the parks many times in 2018 so it's not that it would be inappropriate for me to have this um, but I just I have so many keychains that the dated one wouldn't necessarily be something I would hang on to however it is very cute and it actually has a clip so it could clip on to a lanyard so what I'm gonna do with this cute little Mickey there he is 3d Mickey isn't he cute what I'm going to do with this is send it along with this lanyard and pin set to that little boy that I was talking about um, a few minutes ago in my video. This is going to make like the perfect Christmas gift. And I also have a Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom card I'm going to send him because he's super into Sorcerers now and I'm like so excited to share the love of Disney with like an actual kid. Um, so I'm going to add this to his Christmas package and um, even though these aren't things that I personally need to have, these are going to be a great gift for, um, for someone who I know will love them. I am pretty excited about this next thing. The next item I have is a Mickey head uh, cookie cutter. I'm pretty sure it's a cookie cutter. It could also be like I don't know, like a pancake cutter or pancake shaper. It would be kind of a small pancake though. Um, or maybe you could use it to cut into a waffle and make your own Mickey waffle. But it's basically a kitchen item. It's a Mickey shaped cookie cutter, pancake cutter, waffle cutter, etc. And what I love about it 
besides the fact that it is shaped like Mickey, is it's got this little knob on the side, and it can kind of tuck in, so if you don't want to use the knob, you don't have to, but if you, like, don't want to get your hands in cookie dough or batter, you can, like, hold on to this and, like, stamp it down, like a little stamp. So that's a very convenient, uh, thoughtful thing to add to a cookie cutter or whatever kind of shaper this is meant to be, but I do really like this item. I'll be keeping this for my own kitchen. The retail price on this is $5.99, so about a $6 item, that seems about right. And the final item in my box is a Disney pin. It's a Disney pin of one of my favorite characters, Snow White. I do actually already have this pin, so I will be gifting her or trading her, but I actually love this pin. Uh, as soon as it came out, I think it came out maybe maybe two years ago now, I bought it right away um, from the parks because it's, it's great. And it's a Snow White Princess banner. So there's a whole series of these. It's the princesses on a banner. It says their name, then it's got these little colored tassels. I just think that's really clever. I really like these pins a lot, and this is an awesome thing to receive in a Disney mystery box. If I did not have this already, I would for sure be keeping it, um, but this is either gonna go into my trading pins or I might just gift it to somebody because you know, it's the holidays. The retail price on this one is another color. The color is yellow. I think that makes it like a $12 pin maybe a $10 pin, 10 or $12, let's say $11, I'll split the difference, I think it's somewhere in that range. Um, I just wanna make sure I get an approximate box value for you, but I really do think this is a great final item. All right, I grab my phone, I'm pulling up my calculator app, and I'm just gonna add up the retail value of this box really quick for comparison. Okay, I just added everything up and the total retail value of my box without the Alice in Wonderland postcard is $84. And if I added in the value of the postcard, which is still um, new and usable, it would be $89, which is more than double the value of the price. The price is $39.95, so super good double value box. Pretty darn impressive. My overall feeling and review of this box is it's perfect for somebody who might be on a little bit of a budget but still wants to get in on the whole Disney subscription box thing. It's a great value. However, just a reminder that this is not customizable. Mickey's Mystery Box does do several customizable box options. They're amazing, so if you wanna spend a little bit more and get items that are tailored to your preferences. They also have that option on their website, but if you're not sure and you just want a little bit of Disney magic coming to your door, maybe you live really far away from the parks or you can't get there yourself, but you want some parks items to show up magically in your mailbox, I think the Happily Ever After box is like the perfect choice for that. And then maybe like it's like a gateway. You start with this and then maybe you upgrade to like the Fantasmic box for a special occasion or something. I just think it's an awesome option, especially if you are just starting your Disney collection. That is it for this unboxing. I will leave a link to Mickey's Mystery Boxes website down in my description box, as well as my discount code, which is Becca10. Leave a comment down below and let me know which item from this box was your favorite. For me, it was definitely this awesome Disney Parks Tiki Room bow. So excited to wear this because I love everything Adventureland and tropical and tiki. Big thank you to the folks at Mickey's Mystery Box for sending me all of these fun goodies. I hope you all have a very happy holiday season. And now if you are here for my Vlogmas Disney Pin Advent Calendar openings, those are coming up right now. Happy December 11th. It is time to open some Disney Pin Advent Calendars. I'm gonna start with my Disneyland Paris calendar. Let's take a look and see if we can spot door number 11. I think I saw it over here. So door number 11 right above Minnie Mouse. I'm gonna dig my sharp nails in and see if I can get this door to open. They're a little tricky to open. So which character is it? Oh my gosh, it's Stitch's girlfriend. It's Angel. There's Angel peeking out. I'll take her out real quick. And Angel is looking very cozy and warm. And now we can move on to the mystery blind bag calendar. This is door number 11. It's got some um, reindeer, also known as festive giraffes, on the front of the drawer. Let's open this one up. I love this advent calendar. The drawers are just so cute. What kind of pin do we have today? It's a really small one, so I have no idea what could be in here. It's itty bitty. It's an origami pin. It's Daisy Duck. Daisy Duck in origami form. Kind of a small little pin, but definitely very cute. 
that's all for today. I'll be back tomorrow with more Vlogmas and more advent calendars and more pins. Until then, have a magical day. I'll see you real soon. Bye guys.